Have you ever wondered why the typically tropical Philippines experiences periods of extreme heat known as El Nino? This is not simply a quirk of nature, but a climatic event that alters the usual weather patterns in significant ways. Imagine the Philippines, a country known for its stunning beaches, lush landscapes and a climate that's as warm and inviting as its people. But every few years, this tropical paradise experiences a dramatic shift. The skies turn clear, the sun blazes down, and the rains seem to vanish. This is El Nino, a period of unusually hot and dry conditions that takes hold of the islands. But what exactly is El Nino? To answer that, we need to look thousands of miles away, to the Pacific Ocean. El Nino is a natural phenomenon that occurs when the Pacific Ocean's surface waters heat up more than usual. This warming is not just a few degrees, it's a significant rise in temperature that can stretch across the entire Pacific. But how does a warm ocean in the Pacific lead to a heat wave in the Philippines? It's all about the atmosphere. You see, the ocean and the atmosphere are deeply interconnected. When the Pacific Ocean warms, it causes changes in the atmosphere above it. These changes can disrupt the typical wind patterns, leading to a domino effect on weather systems around the globe. For the Philippines, this means a break from the regular monsoon rains. The winds that usually bring moisture-laden clouds to the islands are disrupted, leading to dry and hot conditions. It's as if the country's usual tropical climate has been put on pause, replaced by an intense summer that can last for months. But El Nino is more than just a local event. Its effects ripple out, influencing weather patterns across the world. From droughts in Australia to floods in South America, El Nino is a global player in our planet's climate. So, while it may seem like just a hot day, El Nino is a complex global event with far-reaching effects. But what does El Nino really mean for the Philippines? It's not just a term you hear in weather forecasts, it's a phenomenon that has serious implications for the country and its people. El Nino is not just about heat waves, it's a complex weather pattern that can cause significant disruptions to the Philippines' agricultural sector. The intense heat and prolonged dry spells often lead to severe drought conditions, these conditions have a devastating impact on crops, livestock and fisheries, the lifeblood for many farming communities across the archipelago. Fields turn barren, water sources dry up, and the once bountiful harvests dwindle to mere fractions. And then, there are the forest fires. With the land parched and the vegetation dry, the risk of forest fires escalates. These fires not only destroy vast expanses of natural habitats, but also contribute to air pollution, posing a threat to both the environment and public health. But perhaps the most distressing impact of El Nino is the strain it puts on water resources. In a country where clean, accessible water is already a challenge, El Nino exacerbates the problem. Water reservoirs dip below critical levels, affecting not just drinking water supplies, but also the operation of hydroelectric power plants, which provide a significant portion of the country's electricity. Let's take a moment to consider the human stories behind these issues. Picture a farmer standing in the midst of his withered crops, worrying about how he will feed his family. Imagine a community, watching helplessly as a forest fire ravages their home. Think about a mother, walking miles under the scorching sun just to fetch a pail of water for her children. These are not just abstract scenarios but real-life situations faced by countless Filipinos during an El Nino event. El Nino isn't just a scientific term or a weather pattern, it's a harsh reality for many people in the Philippines, it's a call to action for us all to understand its impacts, to empathize with those affected, and to seek solutions to mitigate its effects. These are not just statistics and data but real people and communities bearing the brunt of El Nino. But the effects of El Nino don't stop at the shores of the Philippines, do they? Let's take a moment to dive deeper into the ripple effects of this weather phenomenon. When El Nino strikes it doesn't just bring extreme heat and drought, it carries with it a wave of economic and social implications that can wash over an entire nation. Imagine this, the sun blazes relentlessly, the land parches, and crops fail. What happens next? Food prices skyrocket. The scarcity of produce leads to a rise in costs that the everyday Filipino feels in their pockets. A meal that once cost a handful of pesos, now demands a significant chunk of a family's income. This isn't just about the weather anymore, it's about survival, but that's not all. As crops wither and die, the agricultural sector, a cornerstone of the Philippines' economy, takes a substantial hit. Farmers, the backbone of our food supply, are left struggling, their livelihoods hanging in the balance. This puts immense pressure on government resources as they scramble to provide aid and solutions. And then, there's the potential for social unrest. 
When basic needs become hard to meet, tension brews. People become desperate and desperation can lead to conflict. The heat of El Nino could potentially fan the flames of social discord. But these ripple effects aren't confined to the Philippines. The global community, interconnected as it is, also feels the impact. Higher food prices can mean increased inflation rates, struggling economies can lead to unstable markets, social unrest can pose threats to national and international security. So, you see El Nino isn't just a weather event that causes a few hot, dry months, it's a disruptor, a force that shakes the socio-economic fabric of not just a country but potentially the world. El Nino is not just a weather event but a social and economic disruptor. So, how does the Philippines weather this storm? In the face of the relentless El Nino, the nation has taken strategic measures to mitigate its effects. At the core of these strategies is water management. Water, the life source that El Nino threatens to deprive, becomes a commodity more precious than ever. The country has thus implemented practices like rainwater harvesting where water is collected during periods of rainfall and stored for use during dry spells. This not only conserves water but also reduces the strain on existing water resources. The agricultural sector, which bears the brunt of El Nino's wrath, has adapted in remarkable ways. Farmers have shifted towards drought-resistant crops, a move that ensures food security while reducing dependence on unpredictable rainfall. Crop rotation too plays an essential role, maintaining soil fertility and boosting crop yield even in adverse weather conditions. Irrigation systems have also been improved, ensuring water reaches every last crop. The use of modern technology, such as soil moisture sensors and satellite imagery, helps predict weather patterns and manage water resources more efficiently. Government policies have been instrumental in this battle against El Nino. These policies range from providing subsidies for drought-resistant seeds, to implementing stricter water management regulations. Disaster preparedness programs are also in place, aiming to equip communities with the necessary knowledge and resources to face this climatic phenomenon. Yet it's not just about policies and practices. The heart of the Philippines' response to El Nino lies in its people. Their resilience and collective spirit are the nation's strongest weapons. From community-led initiatives for water conservation to neighborhood support groups helping farmers adapt to new agricultural practices, the spirit of Bayanihan or communal unity can be seen in full force. And so the Philippines does not merely weather the storm, it learns from it, adapts to it, and emerges stronger, ready to face whatever the future may bring. It's a testament to the nation's enduring spirit and adaptability, a beacon of hope in the face of adversity. Despite the challenges, the resilience of the Filipino people shines through. Understanding El Nino is the first step towards mitigating its impacts, but it doesn't stop with comprehension. It's about digging deeper, about peeling back the layers of our world's climate phenomena. It's about recognizing the profound impact we, as individuals and as a community, can have. Consider this a call to action, to learn more, to engage, to take part in the conversation and the solutions. Each of us has a role to play, from small acts like conserving water during droughts, to larger initiatives like supporting sustainable practices in our communities, we can create change. The power of individual actions when combined can truly shape our world. It's a matter of ripple effects. Each action, each decision, each conversation, it all adds up. It's about creating a wave of change, a wave of understanding, a wave of solutions. Remember, every ripple creates a wave. And don't forget to subscribe and like this channel for more educational content like this.